I'm going to show you how to use Google My Maps to create custom maps that you can embed on your blog posts and share on your social networks. That'll really show that you're the local expert. To get started, we're going to go to the Google My Maps homepage, and that's google.com slash maps slash D. And if you have a Google account and you're logged in, you'll see a page like this. If you don't have one, you'll be prompted to log in here. You're going to want to click create a new map. And from here, Google My Maps functions a lot like the normal Google Maps that you've used for directions before. If you click on the upper left, you'll be able to give your map a title. We're going to do best lunch spots in Naples, Florida. And then you'll also be able to add a little description here. Once you're done with your description, just click Save. And from here, you'll just be able to search for a place. We'll start with the first lunch spot in the area. We'll do Grouper and Chips. And click that. And it'll pull it up on a map. You'll see a little green arrow like this. You'll click that green arrow, and it'll pull up the address and all the contact information for the place, and then click Add to Map. If you click the name on the left-hand side, you'll be able to add a description by clicking that little pencil button. Here is where you can really give an opinion on the place, maybe say your favorite thing about it or um, the best thing to eat there. And then once you're done with your description, you can just click Save, and that will add all this information to your map. So basically every time you want to add another place, you just type it in the top and then go through the same process again until you're done with your list. Go ahead and click that green share button in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And that'll bring up a few different options. There's a link here that you can copy if you want to send it to someone. And you're also able to share the link via your social networks. You're going to want to change the privacy by clicking that change button right there and make it public on the web so anyone can see your link. It's going to default to private, so you're going to want to change it so everyone can see it. There's also a place down below you can enter in email addresses if you want to email it to a client. The coolest part about this is the ability to embed it in your blog. Click that folder button in the upper left corner, and then click Embed on my site, and you'll see a list of code. You'll be able to copy that code into your blog post, and then the map will show up in your post. And that's it. That's all you need to do to add a fun, interactive map to your social networks or blog posts that your readers will love. Yeah.